In this video, I'm going to be talking about how are you going to activate your DocuWorks when you don't have internet connection. So this is what we call offline activation. All right, let's uh, go and check the process out. So on my desktop, I actually have a DocuWorks desk that has not been activated, um, even on trial, or it has actually expired. So um, what we need to do is to actually license that DocuWorks desk. Okay, so once I double click this DocuWorks desk on my desktop, it will actually ask me to activate it. Okay, so I'll show you now. Double click on it, asking us to activate license management screen. Click on that one. Okay, click on register license and key in your serial number. Okay. And you should be seeing here the option to use the internet to activate license, which is the recommended one. Again, I don't have internet connection right now. So what will happen is that um, we wanted to do it via email to activate the license. Now, this step is more, all right, rather than less. If you're doing an internet-based activation, it is quicker. If you're going to be using email to activate, you will have to download a file and then you have to send that information to the licensing team of Fuji Xerox. Okay, so in this one, I'll go ahead and click on use email to activate license. Okay, so click on next. I will go ahead and enter my Fuji Xerox direct account information, which is my email address and password. Okay, for my Fuji Xerox account. And then I'll press next. After that, I will go over and check for the output destination for the license um, activation info file. Now, I will have to go ahead and browse to my desktop and I'll put it on my desktop, this particular activation file, so it's easy for me to, um, to find it. So I'll go ahead and click on browse and then go to the desktop and then just go ahead and click on save it will validate the information for me for my output destination just press completed if you're okay with the information All right and then it will actually tell me that the activation file is now on my desktop if you can see right and this particular license that i currently have is still unactivated so um, what we need to do is just proceed with the next step i have performed an additional step um, before proceeding with the next uh, video on how to activate I did send an email to software support licensing team of Fuji Xerox and send them that invitation information.dat file that I have downloaded into my desktop I provided the um, the name the company name as well and the serial number the 24 digit serial number um, to the software support licensing team and then they have emailed me within within a day usually um, it might take a day or two depending on the business hour that you have sent them an email so once that they reply to you they will attach a license activation file so the one that they have provided me is an FX lic.dat file so i will use that into the next video all right so i'll show you now the step on how to activate following the file that has been given to me by the licensing team okay so from the same screen where i am earlier go to advance import license activation file click next now I'll go ahead and browse the license file that has been provided to me by software support licensing team. Okay, so I'll go ahead and browse that through. I actually put it into a USB. So let me go ahead and browse that over. Okay, this is the file. Just browse that through. I'll go ahead and confirm that. 
and go ahead and click on next and there you go license activation processing has been completed and it's now successful so go ahead and press complete on this one and the license activator is now telling me that the license status is now activated I hope that this video helped you on how to do offline activation and if you do have any further questions you can let me know I'll be happy to see what I can do with that um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.